Okay, so section uh, section two in this chapter works with melodies in bass clef. These melodies are actually here to start more simple than the ones we just finished doing, like 215 and 216 that you'll do for your quiz. And they start them simple just to give you some more confidence. But the key is to remember, you know, once you've found Do, that the pattern of solfege doesn't change regardless of what the pitches are. For example, in number 219 here, the, the first few notes are C, D, and E. Okay, so in the key of C, that's Do, Re, Mi. You know, if you were to read this in treble clef, if you change the bass clef here to a treble clef instead, the notes would be A, B, C, which would still be Do, Re, Mi. Rather, A, B, C sharp, but we don't have to worry about that right now. But the idea is that we're still using the same pattern of solfege. Do, Re, Mi, in this song, Do, Re, Mi, Re, Mi, Fa, Sol, Sol, Fa, Mi. We're not skipping solfege, we're not jumping up and down, we're just kind of going up and down the scale. So in a sense, it's still really quite simple. So let's try this one here. So C is Do. Again, just follow the solfege. One, two, and three, and go. Do, Re, Mi. Simple enough. Rhythm is very simple, certainly. And again, we're still just moving up and down the scale, following the regular patterns of solfege. Let's do the next one, 220. Same key. <laughs> fingers had no clue. I'm sure you get the idea. Going on to the next page, 218. Sorry, two, chapter two, page 18. And our melody is number 2.21. In the key of G now, we know that because it's one sharp over there and you know bass starts with the sharp rule, take the last sharp, or in this case, the only sharp. Go up a half step from that, gives us the key of G. So we are also starting on G. And again, like before, just go through and name the solfege. Don't worry about the rhythm. Then name the solfege with the rhythm. Then just do the pitches. Then do the pitches with the rhythm and the solfege if you can. Putting them all together. <laughs> Right there, this is that fifth bar. Ready and go. Sol, la, ti, do, re, mi, re, re, do. Let's do those last four measures again. This is after the D half note, starting on the D quarter note. One and two, and ready and go. Do, re, mi, sorry, sol. Ready and go. Sol, la, ti, do, re, mi, re, re, do. Sorry about that. Let's jump down to number 223. One flat is one you just have to know because it doesn't follow the rule. The flat rule is take the uh, second to last flat and that's your key signature. But with one flat, there is no second to last flat. You just have to know that one flat is F. And that's the key in which this song begins. So we're, sorry, it also ends there. It's in the key of F. And we are starting on tonic. And working our way down, it goes up one note above F toward the end, but start on your higher F, so you have plenty of room on the bottom. This is how we'll start. So, Do, 
beauty, la soul. And we'll go slower than that. Two, three, and one. Ready? And do ti la sol, la sol fa mi, fa mi li, fa sol la ti do, re do ti do. So solfege wise, the tricky spot there is that second measure of the second line. Re mi fa sol la ti do. Re mi fa sol la ti do. But again, don't think about the specific notes towards the solfege. Just do the solfege of the scale. It'll come out, especially with practice. Look at two two four. Now in the key of G again. Let me back this down a little, 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 little bit. There, that'd be awesome. So if G is do. Mostly going to be a little above that, so maybe start in the middle of your range or toward the bottom. We'll go a little below the D, but not a lot. That's how it starts. It starts on Sol again on beat two. So it'll be one, two, one, Sol, Fa, Mi. Let's try it. Two, one, two, one. So for me, you know what? That's gonna be way too high for me. I gotta start down lower. Sorry. Two and go. So for me, fa so la ti do re do ti do re mi re do ti la so la ti do ti do ti do. I bet that one was too fast. Good, but push yourselves. We'll go slower, and then we'll go faster again. It is going to be imperative that you do have the ability to speak the solfege quickly and to know the pattern going back and forth. Again, now we're going just up and down scales. It's going to be as easy as it, as easy as it gets for the for the book here. They're going to get more angular, which means we're going to jump around more, which means we're skipping solfege. So it's important to really get these scalar melodies down to help you learn that solfege. Let's go a little slower. <laughs> Two two five. Um, da, 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 da. let's uh, just do one more in this page. Let's do number two twenty six, and we're gonna head over to the one we have to do for the uh, video quiz. Number two two six, two sharps. The last sharp is C sharp, so you go a half step up from that. That gives you the key of D. And this time we're starting on not D, which is do, and not sol, which is five, but. F sharp, which is me. Do, re, mi, do, mi. And I encourage you to, when you do these, to find your key, find do, play it for yourself. And then before you do anything else, try to sing that starting note. So if this is do, you can go up the scale, re, mi, or just jump there. Do, is to understand and hear the interval of do, mi, do, mi, do, to hear it in your head without, without having it played for you. All right, here we go, number two, two, six.
right, let's jump ahead. Now, while I'm jumping ahead, I'm doing so because I'm going to get you, get you into the melody that's for your quiz next Tuesday. But you should go through all of these. Now, the question you might have is, well, how do I know I've done it enough? Or how do I know if I've done it good enough? Well, the answer is, can you sing the melody confidently without stopping? And are you sure you found the right pitches? If you think that's the case, then you've done it enough. If you, can't, if you don't feel that's the case, or you know that's not the case, do it again. Do it more slowly. Go back and review just the fetch, soul fetch, or just the rhythm, or just the sound of the pitches, or just the names of the pitches. Um, all musicians know that repetition is one of the things we have to do. We have to make it second nature for ourselves, whether it's a finger issue or an ear issue or a note naming issue or a text issue. Repetition builds familiar familiarity, which builds an ease and confidence in what you're doing. And that's what's necessary to do this. All right. Number 233 is the other melody that you must do on your quiz. Again, the quiz is 2.5 or 2.16, but you must all do 2.33. This example is in 4-4. Four, four. It's in D major again. The C sharp is the last sharp, the one farthest to the right. Go up a half step, that brings us to D. And so we will start, therefore, on the pitch, solfege wise, of Sol. If D is tonic or Do, then A is the five. So here's your Do. And with this one, also make sure you make a difference in your eighth notes and your chord note values. So that notice I'm holding those quarter notes longer than my eighth notes. That's also part of the show, being rhythmically accurate. So here's our key. Too hard pitch wise, the rhythm is a little trickier than some. So, one more time one and two, that's your soul and go. So, 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 la, so, fa, mi, re, do, two and three, re, mi, re, do, three and four, re, mi, 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 fa, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, re, do. Okay, if you have any questions, shoot me an email, but these will be due on Tuesday at the start of class, by the start of class, or you can wait till Monday to ask me during theory if you wish. Until then, have a dandy weekend, and good luck. Bye.